Hi Neat Aspirants, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and today we are going to talk about the strategy to crack the Neat examination in the remaining days. Today we are going to divide our months into the days and you people will see that for each subject you have how many days and how to complete the syllabus. So I'll provide you the timetable as well. Today we are going to cover each and every aspect where you should focus, right? We are going to cover here in this video. So watch it till the end. If you're new to our channel, please hit the like button, share this video with other uh, NEET aspirants as well. So first of all, you know that normally your NEET exam is there in the month of May. Because of COVID, it was not scheduled in the month of May. Otherwise, it is fixed that NEET exam will be there in the month of May and in the first week of my so here if i expect that so you guys can say if if i if we consider that so you guys can expect that your neat examination will be on 5th may 2024 that is first sunday of the may month right and if i take it into consideration so you have 2288 days left including today's day right you can even calculate it's a detailed analysis that i'm going to share with you all and you people will see that you have a uh, limited number of uh, days are there for all the subjects that you need to cover here for the need preparation right so 288 days are left now out of these 288 days let's say 15 days are for the revision obviously you need that much time for the revision in the month of april or may you need to complete the syllabus you need to revise it again and again and you need to go for the mock test so you are left with 273 days right you are left with what 273 days so if you start from today that is 21st of july you guys can see that you have 10 days august 31 september 30 31 31 31 29 31 and 30 so in totality 273 days are left right and my after subtracting the days for the revision so in these 273 days what you have to do you have to complete your syllabus right what you have to do you need to complete the syllabus now when we talk about the syllabus have a look right and please if you feel that no ma'am there is some mistake here in this video just let me know in the comment section i will rectify that but i don't think so there is any mistake so just look at the physics syllabus chemistry syllabus and biology physics class 11th 10 chapters are there class 12th 9 chapters chemistry 14 chapter class 12th chemistry 16 chapters biology class 11 22 chapters class 12 16 chapters are there right and it is as per old ncert why because there is no syllabus deduction yet officially there is no announcement so these are the number of chapters that you have to cover in 273 days so on an average right on an average for your class 11 physics syllabus you people will get 45.5 days right so let's subtract this half day why because i know you guys are not going to follow a proper timetable right and you will miss it i'm not demotivating you this is the harsh reality and we all know it right so let's say you just have 45 days for completing the 10 chapters of physics dedicately you have 45 days it's not like that in 45 days you have to complete physics chemistry and biology no dedicately you have 45 days to complete these 10 chapters 45 days to complete these nine chapters of your physics and then 45 days for 14 and 16 chapter like this so this is how you can distribute this time right this is how you can divide your days now just look at it if i talk about the physics syllabus only let's not talk about biology today every day i talk about biology let's talk about the physics today so can i not say that that you need four days to complete each chapter if i take the total 45.5 days should be there now so in totality don't you think that on an average you people are having four days for each chapter don't you think that that time is sufficient enough let me know in the comment section all of you think about it today i am not just saying that uh, this is a you know this is something that you should follow and you are going to score well in the need examination but you can see that this is the detailed analysis isn't it just let me know in the comment section that even if you are starting today even if you are starting fresh right like you have just completed your class 11th and 12th syllabus you are a dropper and even if you are not a dropper if you are in class 12th try to follow this point just tell me one thing don't you think bache that four days are sufficient to master any chapter of physics tell me 
we are going to revise as well but don't you think that this time is sufficient and how you are going to proceed you have to complete the topic you can follow anything youtube classes offline classes whatever it is you need to complete the topic you need to make the notes you need to practice the questions you need to read the ncrt so this is what you need to repeat again and again this is what you need to repeat again and again and four days to each chapter you guys can give and see uh, on an average this is what you are going to do in biology there are certain chapters where you will only use two days and maybe you can use other days for other chapters also right in this way you guys can manage so all we can say is that we have time for the very good need preparation we have still we have time to score 700 plus marks in the need examination and to get admission in our dream college but the point here is you are not even allowed to miss a single day let's say you are not studying today you start from tomorrow obviously you can subtract from that 273 days keep it 272 right now it's all up to you that is why i'm telling you that watch it till the end this is this video is going to open your eyes today so this is what you have this is what you have so 45 days for the physics only and the chemistry and the biology so it's your choice that whether you want to study them all together or separately my suggestion is every day give time to physics chemistry and biology utilize this time wisely now come to the timetable you all know the books that you need to follow for physics right you can go for hc verma you can go for dc pande to solve the problems and ultimately it is the ncrt that you need to master you need to read it again and again but after understanding that particular topic same for the chemistry you can go for anavasti right and even you have to follow for inorganic strictly you have to follow the ncrt solve previous year questions for the biology it's all ncrt and whatever extra is required your teacher is going to provide you that but ultimately we have to master the ncrt each and every line from the NCRT. CRT, right but now look at the timetable even even today everything is so flexible i'm not saying that right uh, there is nothing like that you you have to use even a single single minute of your day then only you will get the selection no just look at this timetable let's say you are doing the self study even let's say you are dependent on youtube for your classes or you are studying online whatever it is on an average we can say usually your classes are for the six hours maybe after few months they can be for the eight hours for some days but otherwise they are used to be for the six hours so morning or evening whatever it is just look at it now morning or evening so two hours for the meals for getting up for freshen up this and that even for a nap also two hours let's keep it let's keep two hours for this task and six hours for the sleep that is more than sufficient and if you want to increase the duration here you can reduce this okay so this is it now after spending six hours in your classes two hours for meal and freshen up six hours for the sleep you are still left with 10 hours you are still you still have 10 hours but even toppers right they don't know that they will be the toppers it's just that they have utilized their time wisely they were consistent it is the consistency which is going to be the key right it is of no use if at the end you watch lectures where teachers are providing you one shot of 10 hours 12 hours 13 hours 14 hours and then you are studying it is of no use we see at that time in our lectures we used to see thousand two thousand three thousand plus students but now when we are teaching you that things in detail you people are not taking that seriously you people are not utilizing this time you need to be consistent mark my words but if you are consistent right and if you even consistently if you are giving three hours if dedicatedly you people are studying right trust me trust me no one can stop you to crack this examination so just look at it so in that right when i am talking about these 10 hours here also you can give one hour to your stress buster activity and always remember your timetable should be target table right like you have to decide the weekly targets and you should go accordingly and you should always give your time to the stress buster activity okay it is important because this need preparation is not right it is basically a marathon it is not a sprint so we have to go slow but we have to keep moving so you have nine hours three hours for the physics three hours for the chemistry three hours for the biology so whether you are attending online classes youtube classes or self-study you can follow this timetable you can shift it as per your classes so let's say one day you want to give two hours to biology you can give four hours to physics it is all up to you now come to the students who are going for the offline classes now in offline classes this is a you know little bit problem that you have to travel as well right mostly students they prefer the 
institute nearby but sometimes they have to travel so here again classes for six hours meal and freshen of two hours traveling time two hours this is what you are investing now right you you have to spend time on traveling as well maybe your institute is nearby but you have to get up you have to get ready right you have to go like this and that right these things are there in your head and obviously if you're going to uh, attend classes you're going to talk to your friends there also so i'm keeping two hours for that but i know many times you make it four hours so please try to avoid it and then sleep again is of six hours so still you are left with eight hours out of that one hour you guys can give to your stress buster activity still you have seven hours of self study right so in these 288 days where 15 days you are dedicatedly giving to your revision you are still having 273 days you are still having seven hours minimum seven hours of self-study that you just need to utilize wisely bachche. wisely right this is my analysis and i think this time is sufficient to crack your neat examination follow the pyq read it from ncrt attend the classes make the notes and just follow this cycle for the next seven to eight months right and trust me no one can stop you to crack the neat examination so this is all about this detailed strategy and the timetable guys if there is any other doubt just let me know in the comment section trust me i'll make video on that and i will discuss that with you and see as i said you people need to keep a target table that this week out of that uh, you know out of that 10 chapters of physics this is what i'm going to cover in this week target table target table should be there so weekly follow this timetable and Sunday should be for the revision it should be for the mock test right you guys can even join our all India mock test series which is for 999 rupees only now right the in the uh, description box you people will find the link and you guys can get this all India mock test series for just 999 rupees and every Monday there will be the test discussion session as well let me tell you this thing and questions here are as per your NCRT diagram based match the column statement based all the kind of questions are there in this test series so you guys can join it so this should be this is what you need to do right Monday to Saturday you should follow this timetable Sunday revision and mock test and you can manage to crack the neat examination with 680 or 700 plus marks right bache and see if you are still looking for a plan that yes i want a proper batch i'm not able to revise it by my own i'm not ready to go offline and i want some good batches online so this batch our neat energized batch which is the entry point for neat avengers batch it is the solution for you you people are going to get this batch at a price of 14999 right and in this price the quality content by experienced teachers those who know what to give you in limited time right so your 11th and 12th syllabus will be completed till December revision sessions will be there till your May 2024 bachche. right there will be the proper test proper doubt session proper revision sessions will be provided to you handwritten PDFs are provided to you so this is what you are going to get in this batch so don't waste your time as I said I have included 21st July as well so please please and please right be sincere be serious follow this right and just give one try one last try for your dream just just put all your efforts for your dreams right this is what i can say so if you want to join our batch you can go to our channel right you can see the description box here so you just if you want to join that mock test series click the link here and for need energized batch go to the link right add your number or email the coupon code is already applied and you will get this batch at a price of 14999 and trust me it is one of the best batches for the need preparation right so stay tuned do let me know in the comment section that yes ma'am we find it useful and we are going to follow it so hashtag we will follow this routine this should be there in the comment section i know it's quite uh, you know it's a long statement you can just write down the initials there okay so stay tuned all the best will keep motivating you time to time but yes never quit just keep trying thank you so much